Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to Beat Digger Football on 1010 KSIR, KSR.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network tonight from Larry Mills Field at Beat Digger Stadium. Tyler Carmen and Ron Albo with you as the Ray Eagles are in town, the number one team in Class 1A to take on your brush. Beat Diggers pregame show brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Borrow your money and do your banking with the people you know and the people who know you. Stop by one of 10 locations across the plains or visit equitable-savings.com. Ron, we've got a beautiful night of football ahead of us. The field looks good. The weather's nice. It's an early start. I like that. I'll be in bed before 10 o'clock maybe. What do you think coming into the game? We got some big injury news right when we showed up. Big injury news, yes. Uh, the uh, quarter starting quarterback for mid-cap for Ray came down with strep, is that correct? And mm -hmm. so he's not going to be playing today. Uh, so that's a little bit more positive for Brush. Still got a lineup, still got to play football because I know whoever they've got to fill in, I believe it's going to be Collins. Mm -hmm. We fill in and he's a good athlete, he's a good kid, and, and he's going to, shouldn't miss too much of a beat when it comes to Ray and, and their football team. But, you know, Brush had a week off last week and they had a chance to kind of retool some things and work on some stuff that they wanted to really focus on this year and this week. And so hopefully that's been a positive uh, move for them. And now they can, you know, get those two games behind them, kind of straighten some stuff out now, and hopefully come into a situation tonight where things can work their way and they can find a way to get a win to start getting some positive and some good momentum as they start heading into their league play. Absolutely. Coin toss is done. Starting lineups brought to you by Morgan Community College. Start your associate degree, continue your education, or get a specialized certificate. Visit morgancc.edu for more. On offense for the visiting Eagles, number three, Samuel Meisner. Number four, Angel Santizo. Number seven, Austin Collins. That's your quarterback. Number 10, Wyatt Fonte. Number 19, Aaron Tenna. Number 20, Austin Hendricks. Number 51, Eric Tracy. Number 53, Jaden Witt. Number 55, Tavari Chapel. Number 58, Brody Riggleman. And number 66, Brody Richards. Head coach is Levi Kramer. On defense for your brush beat diggers, number three, Cassius Middle Miss. Number four, Trey Romero. Number seven, Eric Rico. He's back in the lineup. Number 20, Percy Odell. Number 23, Levi Cox. Number 38, Dylan Crobb. Number 60, Austin Lay. Number 65, Conrad Castrip. Number 77, Eli Klein. Number 80, Caleb Jimenez. And number 81, Landon Mesh. Head coach by Joe Rosenbrock. Beat Diggers are 0-2 coming into this game, coming off a of bye week. Ray, number one in Class 1A. They are 3-0 with wins over Platte Canyon, Goodland, and Scott. Scores of 42 to nothing, 56 to 21, and 42 to 14. Goodness gracious. And that just shows to tell you that Ray is able to put lots of points on the board. So Brush has their hands full tonight on defense, but if they can slow down this offense, they've got a chance to keep things close and hopefully come out with a win. I'll be interested to see what Coach Rosenbrock does at quarterback because I did not think Trey Romero played bad at all uh, in, uh, in spot duty for Eric Rico. But Rico's back out there. He's going to kick off for your beat diggers. Kickoff is up underway. A little pooch kick here. It's going to land at about the 30, be fielded. They're going to go down. Kickoff brought to you by Bailey Mechanical. When your temperature is not quite right, call your local Linux dealer, Bailey Mechanical, at 970-522-0471. And Ray will take over first down and 10 at about the 30, their own 31-yard line. Wyatt Fonte fielded that for the Ray Eagles. Ray in their away whites, purple jerseys, white helmets, brush in their gray pants, maroon tops, maroon helmets. Shotgun set here for Ray. Direct snap to the running back. Up the middle he goes. Tries to slip a tackle. Gets down around the 40-yard line. Eight yards quickly for Ray. That's number three, Samuel Meisner. And what Ray does there is they've got their quarterback in the shotgun. they got a running back to one side. They've got an up back there usually between the guard and the center, and he's the guy that leads the, t the blocking for him. So you know wherever he's at, chances are that's where the run's going to be. So they've got to be able to focus on that, find that key on that. And the linebackers, they have got to be able to come up hard and fill. D-line has got to do a great job of stopping that initial force. We're going north to south here. Brush loads the box, six down linemen. They go a little misdirection, does Ray. That's number 19 off the left side. Aaron Tenna, he's down Brush, or I'm sorry, Ray's sideline. First down, a lot more picked up, over 20 yards. And right off the bat, you know, almost 30 yards in running plays in the first two plays and an automatic first down for Ray. 25 yards into brush territory. Big run there by Tenna, a little misdirection. He's lined up 
in that tight end spot. Came right to left and down the sideline he went. Another direct snap. Meisner's going to take it off the right side. Pushes upfield, gets across the 35-yard line. Decent yards picked up there. Yeah, and Ray's doing a great job. They're, they've got their offensive linemen. Their splits are fairly tight, and with that up back between the guard and the center, he's just like another man just leading the way and blocking. They'll use him to block down. They'll also use him as a decoy, and they'll pull another guy to trap on the outside, and that's where they pick up big yards. I like it if they run a little more. That's what Brush sees yeah. the most of in practice. With mid-cap out, you think that's, that's going to be their, their bread and butter. They load up the line here. Nine down linemen. Up the middle they go to Meisner. He's wrapped up, but not before he gets down to the third. He pushes forward. Yeah, Meisner's a senior, 5'11", 185 pounds, a solid 185 mm -hmm. pounds. He just keeps his legs moving. He's hard to bring down when he, once he gets going. Five yards there on the second down carry. Well into brush territory here. Two minutes gone by in the first quarter. No score yet. Direct snap again to Meisner. He cuts it off the left side. He's looking for room. Down race sideline. He's got the first down a lot more. Trips and stumbles. Gets down inside the 10-yard line. Take another 20 yards there. Yep. And that time they just attacked our, our defensive end on the right side, and he just got he he got sucked inside the the uh, tight end went outside, hooked him, and he was able to get outside, and he's 20 yards down the field. Two big runs there for Tenna. Direct snap again. Meisner's going straight up the middle. Pushing down inside the five-yard line. Pick up yeah. of about six yards. Right now, the brush defense has no answer for that. Just straight-ahead pounding ground game they've got. They're even bringing up a linebacker. They're, they're going six-down linemen there and bringing a linebacker just to kind of fill that gap, and it's not stopping them yet. Ray goes heavy off the left side. That's the short side of the field. And they're going to run it that way. Off the left guard, Meisner nearly untouched into the end zone. The Ray Eagles draw first blood with 8.46 to go. Meisner putting the team on his back there. A couple of big runs. On for the extra point attempt. 54, Diego De Leon. Left footed. Snap down, kick is up. It looks good. It is. Raise up seven to nothing with eight forty six to go in the first quarter over your brush beat diggers. Really no resistance at all from the brush defense there. No, and that, that drive for Ray took over was over seventy yards. They had seven plays, seventy yards, culminating in a touchdown, an extra point seven zero Ray at the you know, with uh, what, eight minutes to go in the first quarter. So Russia knows exactly what they're going to do. They're not going to change it up. So they've just got to come out. They've got to, they've got to match that type of drive in order to keep Ray off the football field. That's the biggest thing is they got to keep that offense off the football field. Because as you saw right there, they're able just to control the line of scrimmage. A couple yep. of big plays here and there. Yep. But be able to control that line of scrimmage, they're just going to wear the defense out. Even without the big plays, Misers, eight yards, five yards, six yards, four yards. That's the brush offense too. Yep. This is kind of different than what we've seen Brush in their first two games. They've been able to hang really tough in the first half. I believe they had the lead yeah, um, right there near halftime on both of their their first two games. And, yeah, Ray, Ray come out and just punched them in the mouth on their opening drive. We'll see if Brush can respond. De Leon, line drive kick. Ooh, it's going to bounce. Into the end zone. Levi Cox got lucky. He let it go, and it it almost didn't get there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's – anytime you got a kickoff, you want to be able to catch those kickoffs. You don't want to rely on them trying to bounce because you just never, you know, yeah. never know where it's going to go. The way the ball's shaped, right, you never know where it's going to go. So, Yeah, with that line drive, I could see how he, he didn't really want to field that. Yeah. 
Well, we'll get a chance to see what Coach Rosenbrock's thinking as far as the first play right off the bat. What's he going to do? So Romero trots out. He's going to go under center. Man comes in motion right to left. Trey Romero goes right up the middle on the keeper there. Keeper. Still pushing the pile. Good yards picked up there by Trey Romero. Kind of a that's a that's a different call for Brush. I mean that's obviously something they've been working on. You know, this week in practice to be able to come out and and know they can just take advantage. That's five yards, six yards right there. You can't complain about that. No, no, six yards there picked up by big number four. Goes under center again. Two men split out to either side. Give it up the middle. That's Jelani Thomas. He gets dropped by two or three different Ray Eagles. One went high, one went low, one came to clean it up. Yeah, they were looking to run a trap to the right side there. And the way that the defense is lined up for Ray, they have guys in both the A gaps there and make it very difficult sometimes for that trap play. And with them slanting, they ended up slanting right to where we were running that time. They've got some size on their D line. Does Ray, they got a right defensive end over there. I believe that's number 66, Brody Richards, 6'1". Yeah. Romero turns around, hands it off, tries to go off the left side. Dylan Crobb, the ball carrier there. That'll bring up. Picks up. Picks up three and a first down for Brush. Their first. First down of the game. Good positive yardage. Every single play they had positive yardage, and that's exactly what you got to have to establish some rhythm and some momentum with this offense and keep them on the field. Yeah, keep your offense on the field. Don't let Ray's on the <laughs> no. field. That, you can keep this thing close. That would benefit you greatly. I don't care if it takes you four downs yep. every time. Regardless, a little different formation here. Shotgun set for Romero. Jelani's to his left, three receivers to the left as well. That's the wide side of the field. Romero's left-handed. He's looking deep. He's got his man out. Oh, beautiful catch. I think it's going to be out of bounds. Percy Odell ran an out route. Got a 10-yard out right at the 40-yard line. Romero had a guy breathing down his neck. I think he took a shot. Yeah. Pass falls incomplete, but I like the play call. Yeah, good call. I mean, having him as a left-handed quarterback rolling to his left definitely makes it easy for him. I think all he needed to do is just kind of step step through, follow through with that pass because it was a little high. Yep. Had it come down, I think he would have been able to catch it. So they're going to go four wide now. Eric Rico's in at quarterback and turn around. Tried to give it to the man in motion who came from the slot left to right. A little jet sweep action. That did not go well no. at all. Not at all. Not lots of lots of penetration from the defense. The right side of the offensive line just gave up way too much ground. He lost five yards on that. Now it's going to be third down and fifteen. That was Percy Odo, I yeah. believe. And yeah. he got he got dropped hard. Yeah, and that's third down and fifteen is pretty difficult to, Those I are mean, drive killers. Yeah, yep. Those are hard hard downs to pick up. I'm okay throwing it on first down, even if it's incomplete, but you yep. can't you can't give yards back on no. second down. Like I said, I don't care that it takes if it takes you four downs. So you don't need to get all fifteen no. back. If you go under base set, flag flies. Delay a game. Yep. Well, that even adds five more on that. Yep, that doesn't help. Nope. There's not a whole lot of plays in third down and 20 that you got. No. So I think in this situation, maybe you just run a bootleg to the whites, to this side of the field where we got more room. See if you can get yourself some more positive yardage. Trey's coming in now. They're going to switch quarterbacks again. Maybe have him roll to the left. Maybe. Clock should stop here. Yep. It has not. They ran... 30 seconds off. I saw the referee down there giving the signal. Yeah, he's and, trying. Yep. Yeah, they finally yep. got it stopped, so they'll yep. have to reset the clock here. They're going to come back. Brush is going to go back to that shotgun set. Three to the left, one to the right. 
I think it's just a decoy to run him off and give him some room to run the ball. But they're on that, they're on the far side of the field, so he can roll left to the wide, to the wide side. He's going to drop straight back. He's looking left. He's going to load one up going down the field. Mm. That ball's going to sail right out of bounds. Yep, sail right out of bounds. Pass falls incomplete. Intended man was number 12, Thatcher Queen. High arc and spiral there. Looked good coming through the air, just a little too far out of bounds. Yep. And there was good <clears throat> coverage. Fourth down to 15. You gotta gotta have a tight punt here and not let anybody get any pressure. No, that's something Coach Rosenbeck talked about with John earlier this week was special teams as a whole yet to have a made yeah. PAT. Punts have not been great. That field position is gonna be big, especially in a game like this. Rush is gonna punt it away. Inside their own 10-yard line here. Almost Ooh. got blocked. Nearly got blocked, but gets a good punt off. It's going to land at the 50. Bounce back towards Brush a little bit. Ray will start at the 47-yard line in their own territory. Got to have a little bit better blocking there. Yeah, and once again, you're, you're giving a short field here now to Ray. They've got, you know, 53 yards to travel to, to score here. Defense has got to come up big right now. You just, with a team like this, the way they're able to ground it out on the, on the field, you can't give them a short field. So defense has you know, got, to, got to come up and they got to play big and get a turnover. 5.30 left in this first quarter, brought to you by Buildings by Design. First impressions are important. Buildings by Design will make your vision a reality. Visit buildsbydesign.com for more. Ray up 7 to nothing here. We're going to have an illegal motion. I believe. I think it was that, that wing back move yep. a little bit too soon, number three. Yep, he was coming in motion right to left. Collins was in the backfield by himself. The they were going to oh. try a little jet sweep. Out. Oh, they called oh. on the defense. I think it was our left defensive end that time. He might, he might, Maybe he just jumped a bit. I, I thought it was the, the wing I back thought so too. I didn't. He was right there. Yeah. He must have flinched a little bit when he went to go in motion. So that puts him in plus territory. Bryce's 47-yard line. Collins will be in the backfield by himself again. They run the same play. Meisner goes left to right. They get a handoff. Doesn't get much. They were gifted five yards with the penalty, and Meisner picks up another couple. We'll see where he's pushed out along Ray's sideline. So it'll be second down and about. I think he only four. picked up, yeah. yard, second yeah. down and four. Good job of Brush just sniffing that out and pushing yep. it to the sideline. That was a the freshman there, middle missed on that tackle. We'll go same formation here. They got a man split out to the right. They fake it coming left to right. Collins is going to take the direct snap up the middle. He goes. First down's picked up and more. Pick up of about 12. Ball is on Brush's 38-yard line. And right there, that time, the defensive end just bit on that on that wing motion. The wing came in motion from the far side. Defensive end slanted in. Brady or Collins was very patient, waiting for that, for him to slide in. Then he just bumped it to the outside. Can't ankle tackle here either. No. Got to get a hat on the guy. Shotgun set here. Hand off to Meisner. Gang tackled finally. I think he's going to pick up a couple. Should bring up second down and seven. Seven carries for Meisner already. Under four minutes to go in the first. That is one thing about this game. It's going to go fast. Yep. They go power right here. That's where they run. Ooh, they fake the right. They do a little misdirection. Yep. That's Tenna. Tenna came in motion right to left. He might be. Looks like he's pretty close to the first down. Not sure yep, he's quite give, got it. They, they give, give it, to him. it to him. So that's that's a pickup of seven yards and a first down. That is a really really nice play design. Look like you're loading it up. Yeah. To run right, run 
to the to the wide side of the field. They're fast too. Yeah. Very athletic team. Shotgun set. They flip it. Collins is going to roll to his right here. First pass attempt. He's just going to tuck it and run. Picks up some decent yards. We got whistles. I don't see any flags. Oh, we do have a flag right there at the 30-yard line. I think it was holding. So, yep. yeah, I think on the on the backside I saw that uh, we were getting held. I think that was um, Conrad Castro. I think was held because I was watching the far side and he was slanting in to try to you know pursue, and all of a sudden he just stopped, and you could see the guy grab a hold of him. They're gonna have to roll Collins out like that if yeah. they wanna if they wanna throw it. They, he's got it listed at six foot. He does not look six no. foot down there. <laughs> so now that brings up still second down. Yep. Second down and Our a first long ways to go. That's Direct snap to Meissner. He's gonna run it off the left side. He cuts it up the field, tries to catch back outside, gets out to the thirty five yard line. Picks up about five yards there. Gains half of that penalty back. Yep. So it'll bring up, should bring up second down at about 15. Brush can just keep them. Keep them from about the 30 yard line here, yep. 25 yard line. Collins takes the snap, fakes the draw. He's going to roll right this time. Dump it over the head of middle missed. Caught there. Tackled down at the 25-yard line. I think we got another flag. Should be holding again on far side. I don't see the flag, though. Oh, there it is. That's right there. It was on the far side. That was a nice little dump pass there. Oh, middle yeah. miss finally had to make a decision, so we... Yep. He dived in on the quarterback. He threw it right over his head, but it's all coming back. Well, we had great pressure that time from the defense. In fact, we were right there in his face, and all of a sudden, once again, Kastrup, I think, was just at a standstill. And you look over, there's two guys that are right there holding on to him. That allowed Collins to roll out to the right and complete that pass. So that'll back him up again. Still second down. He's going to snap it from the 40. They need to get to the 19. Straight drop back for Collins. He's looking deep. He goes across the middle, looking for Tenna. Ooh. Pass falls incomplete. I think that was Levi Cox. Yeah. If he'd have just turned his head a little earlier, he might could have had that. No, that's 81. That's Landon Mesh. Landon Mesh, yep. Great job for the defense. That play seemed like it took a long time to develop. I mean, that, that receiver was like 20 yards down the field 20 before he decided to throw the ball. So it took him a while, it took a while for it to develop, but we were in good position there to, to break it up. Yeah, double coverage. Taking a chance. Third down and forever. Shotgun set. They go four wide here. Two to either side. The right side is the wide side. Collins is going to roll. He's going to roll that way. He said he tucks it and runs. It's up the middle. Picks up a bunch of yards. Gets well, down inside the 25-yard line. He needed 22, and I believe he picked up 20 of it. Picked up, I think, 16 yards. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Ray up 7 to nothing. Third down and 6. No, I'm sorry, fourth down. Fourth, fourth down, down and 6, six and yep. they're going to go for it. <clears throat> Watch Meisner here. They got three bunch to the right. They're going to run it that way. Direct snap to Miser. He cuts it up the field. He's going to get dropped really close. I think they got him sh shy of the first. According to that far yep. referee, he is short of the first down. That's a great job. Defensive, great defensive stand. Middle miss in on the tackle there. Not another yard to spare, but they, they hold Ray with the help of a couple holding penalties. And Brush will get the ball back with a minute to go in this first quarter down by a score. So Eric Rico is going to be back in at quarterback. 
Cox and Queen will be split out to the left and right. Tight end to the left. Rico under center. Give it to Thomas. Thomas has got nowhere to go. He's going to get dropped at the 20. Maybe a yard. There are two D tackles, 58 and 52. Brody Riggleman yeah. and Reese Weatherly. That goodness. Those are some big dudes. Big boys and very athletic, too. Yep. Same formation here. Rico under center. Tight end to the right this time. Turn around. Rico's going to roll right. He's getting chased. He's going to get dropped. That's a beautiful play. That's that big right D end. That's 65. Walker Goodwin. He's just a sophomore. 5'10", 200 pounds. Or 55. That makes more sense. Yeah. To very chapel. Or Senior down. at 6'3". That makes a lot more sense. I was like... 5'10". He doesn't look 5'10". Good. No. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Brush took a huge sack on their last play. They'll look to rebound on third and forever when we come back with the second quarter right here on 1010 KSIR. KSIR.com and Eastern Plains Sports Network. Welcome in to Beat Digger Football. Second quarter action. Fixing to get underway. They flip side. Brush is going to go North to south here, they're backed up inside their own 15-yard line on third down. Eric Rico took a sack there. He's going to roll out to his right here on the first play. He's looking, fakes the pass, ducks out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Smart play by Eric Rico. Unfortunately, he just doesn't pick up enough yards, and they're going to have to punt it away again. Fourth down and about 11. Picked up about five on that. Arrow stand at his own one yard line. Ray's going to bring pressure off of Brush's left side. Good block here. Good punt there by Romero. It's going to travel, bounce at the 45 yard line, roll Great back punt. to the 30. Great punt. They're going to pick it up there. Helmet oh. gets lost. Big hit, though. Wyatt Fonte, the junior. Picked it up at the 35-yard line. There's a flag that flies in. I hope it's not a face mask. Fonte's helmet did come off. He went full on Jeremy Shockey, too. He just, he's like, yeah, we're still going. I like it. Yeah, analogy. it's a face mask. Yep. Be a face mask on Brush. That'll be 15 yards. Wow. That'll put him inside Brush's territory to start. Yep. That was a really, really good punt. And... And it, uh, it almost gets negated. Yep. From Brush's 47, Ray takes back over. 11.49 to go in the second. They lead 7 to nothing. Direct snap here. Give it to Meisner. That wasn't a clean. We're gonna helmet comes off again. Helmet again. Tighten up those chin straps, boys. Yeah. I believe it's Meisner. He pushes forward for 10. Yeah. That's Chapel that lost his helmet. He's got to come out for a play. They're going to down him a yard short. Nine on that play. It's a 10th carry for Meisner on the night. What do you call that formation when it's a shotgun, but they got a blocker right up behind the center? I I don't know the exact. I don't know either. Yeah. It didn't work on didn't that work play. That time. Nope. Collins tried to run it right up the middle. Conrad Kastrup was waiting for him. No gain there. It brings up a big third down and three for your beat diggers from their own 40-yard line. Austin Hendricks is that blocker that lines right behind the center. Yep. 
Direct snap to Meisner. Meisner looking to get some room off the right side. He's not going to find it. going to be short. Might have picked up a yard. It'll be fourth and two. You got to think Ray's going to go for it here in plus territory. Crab in on the tackle. Ball's going to be at the 39. They need the 37 for a first down. Well, we got a, This is a big defensive stand right now for Brush. Gosh, if you're Ray, don't, don't yeah. miss it. Just go right up yeah. the middle. So Tenna's going to be on that right side. They're going to run left. Yep, they are going to run. They're power left. Tenna's to the right. He's gonna, ooh, oh, they he got jumped. a false start. He jumped. They got a false yes. start. That's good news for Brush. That's going to back him up five. Make him fourth down and seven. Yep, no. fourth and seven. That's good on Brush. Ray must have tried to go hard count there. Completely different formation yep. now. They're going to go bunch. Yep. No, they're going to go. They're going to quarterback's going to keep it. Well, they got a man standing oh, at the 45. They're, punt they're punting. Left foot punt here. It's going to go end over end to the right. It's going to bounce about the 15. Out of bounds. Back away from it. Back away from it. Out of bounds. Gonna go, the 10. Yeah, right about the 10 yard line. Brush will take over. Good defensive stop there. With the help of a false start. Ray must have went hard count. That's just good discipline for Brush. That's a good sign because they've struggled with that on offense a lot. So I wouldn't mind seeing Coach Rosenberg yes. go hard count. Go hard count every time. 9.32 to go in the second. Brush still trailing by a score. <clears throat> Eric Rico is going to jog a play in. Thatcher Queens in also. Mm -hmm. And Levi Cox. Rico will go under center here. Turn hand it off to Jelani Thomas. Maybe a couple. Right up the middle. There is just nothing doing there. You got to go off yeah. tackle or something because there's nothing. Nothing to be had up the middle. They give Thomas a couple. And they're running right into the strength of that defense, right in the middle. That is where all that, – that's where their big guys are. They're strong. They're quick. They're controlling the line of scrimmage. Well, got to bump go, it off tackle. When they go up the middle, those ends are crashing yeah. so hard. A man split out to the right here. They do a little pitch to the left. Barely get back to the line of scrimmage. Yep, tried to cut it back inside, go upfield. I don't even know who ran it. I think it was Dylan Crob that time. Yep, I think you're right. Crob picks up three. Able to dive forward. Third and five. Well, definitely manageable. Rush. Third and five situations, not bad. Well, I don't. I don't think. I mean, if you get fourth and two, go for it. I know the field position's a little iffy, but yep. I you just you got to take a chance to keep them. Romero's in there. They go quarterback keeper. He Moving pushes forward. Yep, he pushes forward. He's going to be close. Oh, yeah. Give him six yards and a first down. Two rushes for Trey Romero. Both quarterback keepers right up the middle. Six yards apiece. They just do that every time. Yep, I mean, you know, at this situ this point right now, just, just keep doing what's working, make him stop that, and then find something else to go to. I mean, it's not... I mean, Ray, keep, keep Ray's, stack, Ray's stacking the box. They got five yep. down linemen. Their linebackers are all within three yards. They got one safety. Man in motion right to the left. Romero's back in under center. They got two split out left. Romero's just going to keep it again. Push the pile. Meisner's there. <laughs> Waiting for the whistle there. That pile was stopped two seconds ago. Trey Romero was the ball carrier. They give him forward progress three yards on his third carry. So now second and six for Brush. Gosh, they just milked this entire second yeah. quarter out yeah. and put one put one in the end zone. They get the ball back at half. Romero's still under center. 
Turn around, give it to Jelani. Jelani, ooh, looked like he had a gap. It closes in a hurry. He gets driven back to the 25. There's five There's five Ray defenders on him right at, once he gets to the hole right there. He had a hole, yep. and it closed immediately. It immediately. And he loses. Give didn't gain, a, didn't yeah. gain anything. Yeah. No. Timeout. Rush is going to take their... First timeout of the half brought to you by Wiggins Electric. Count on Wiggins Electric for quick, efficient, and courteous service to keep you up and running. They provide you with the service and products you need at your most critical time. 6.36 to go in the second. 7-0 lead for the Ray Eagles. Halftime show coming up shortly. Next week, Brush will be at home against Yuma for homecoming. That'll be another good game. I haven't done any research on Yuma. They're good. Are they? Yeah, well, <laughs> I have good. figures. Yep. But, uh, you know, Yuma, ha Yuma, ha they, you know, we used, this used to be our league a long time ago. Yuma, mm -hmm. Brush, Ray, Burlington, uh, you know, uh, all those all those teams, Eaton, Platte Valley, you know, and since the league realignment, classifications, teams dropping down, moving up, whatever it is. And so, you know, we don't play them as much as we do, as we used to. But, you know, now coming back and seeing these guys again, I mean, Ray is definitely on the rebound, obviously the number one team in the state. You know, Yuma, I think they're in the top ten also. So you've got two good quality 1A schools that we're going to be battling in the next two weeks. Out of the timeout, third and four. Ooh, they, get, they go hard count. I don't think any brush moved. I think it's going to nope. be encroachment. <laughs> Coach Rosenbrock must have heard me. Penalty makes it enough for another Digger. First down. That'll give Brush the first down. They'll huddle back up. Halfway through the second quarter, brought to you by Sydney Regional Medical Center. Don't let an injury keep you out of the game. Learn more about Sydney Regional Medical Center at sydneyrmc.com. Tight end to the left, two receivers to the right. Rico under center. He drops straight back. It was an out route there. The ball's caught, caught by Levi Cox. No, I'm sorry, Percy Odell. It might be closer. It might be a first down. Very, very close. I think they're just – no, they're moving. Uh, half the chain's moving. There it is. I didn't even see Percy Odell. I was like, where is he throwing that ball? <laughs> that is Rico's first pass completion. Mm -hmm. First attempt, first completion. It goes for 10 yards. Odell makes a great diving catch on the brush sideline. Brush first down from their own 44-yard line. They hand it off, trying to go up the middle. Nothing doing there. Jelani is having a tough go. And just at the last minute there, that defensive lineman, number 53 for Ray, reached out and grabbed a hold of his foot and just tripped him up. So, you know, he picked up about three yards. But had he not uh, gotten tripped up, I think he'd have been... Off to the races. Rico back under center, turn around, give it to Jelani again. He runs a man over, gets into plus territory, across the 50, pick up a four yards. It'll be third and four for Brush from the 49 array. <clears throat> Best run of the night for Jelani. I wish you could have seen it, folks. He just... Put his shoulder down and plowed over the guy. Yep, he just kept hit him head on. Rico staying under center. Turn around. Give it to Jelani again. He goes off the left side. He tries to bounce it outside. Spin moves. He's got the first down and more. Give him six yards across the 45-yard line. Yep. Seem to be finding a little bit of rhythm here. Yeah, the brush offense they're running, that was a 47 right there. Great job at the tight end, tackle crashing down. Halfback comes and kicks out that defensive end, and that's where exactly where Jelani Thomas ran. Picked up positive yardage. Got a man split out right here. Ball's in about the center of the field. Rico looks to the Sideline real quick. Trey Romero's still in there. He's the right tight end. They fake the pitch. They give it to Jelani. Jelani goes up the middle again. Gets across the 40. Jelani Thomas, the ball carrier. 
See where they mark him here. They might give him four. And number Eight carries on the night for number 17. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Brush still trails by a touchdown. Thomas will get a break. <clears throat> Right there, Brush is finding success running off tackle, which is what you need to do against Ray, the way that their defense is lined up right now and how right. they play. There's a lot of strength to the middle. They want to stop that inside trap. Ramirez tight end to the right. Queens split out left. They give it up the middle again. Grob in there for some relief for Jelani Thomas. He gets to the 35. Pickup of about four again, so it'll be third and two for Brush. Clock coming down to three minutes to go in this yep. first half. It's a six minute drive for Brush right now. Doing good? Yep. March it down the field. Thomas is back in. Rico turns around, hands it to Krob. Krob's going to try to bounce off the left side. Meisner's going to get there very quickly. That was a great, great play there by Meisner. Krob had some room. Meisner just wicked fast, able to get there in a hurry. They're going to give him one, so it's going to be fourth and one. Be a long one-yard line. Long one yard to pick up, but I'd say quarterback's yep, right Romero. Now. Yeah, Romero's, Romero's coming in. If you want a chance, I would. Go hard yep. count. Get it easily. And depending on where they're, how they're lining up, I'd say it's quarterback sneak to the yep. right. Either hard count or go fast. They're yep. not going fast. Romero goes right up the middle. Dives forward. He's going to be close. I think he's going to have it. Going to have it? Yeah. They fall forward. Yep. Signals for the first down. I think he got one. Got it. But that's all he needed. The brush gets a fresh set of downs at Ray's 33 yard line. Brush may want to just hurry it up just a little bit. <laughs> they still have two timeouts, but yeah, it's under two minutes to go here. Under two minutes, exactly. So it's been a seven and a half minute drive now. Thatcher Queen's going to split out right. That's the wide side of the field. Rico's under center. Romero's tight end to the left. Turn around, give it to Jolani. Jolani's got some room to run. Timeout. Picks up eight. He pushes forward. First down. We'll see. If, I think they're going to stop him just shy. Yep. Give him nine. And Brush is going to take their second timeout. Brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Since 2003, they've been providing big firm products, small firm relationships. Visit westerneci.com. Four more, 131 to go. Jelani picks up eight. Well, right now they've established a good running game with Jelani Thomas running off tackle, which is exactly where they need to be because, like I said, inside trap, rush, rush. Ray does a great job of stopping that trap, and so if you, they're going to take that away. That means off tackle has got to be open, so Brush is just doing what exactly they're giving them. They are selling quite a bit of food tonight if you're hungry at halftime. We'll see what Coach Rosenbrock comes Dials up with up here. here. Yep. I'd go hard count again right out of the timeout. They're on the far side of the field. Ball is at the 25-yard line. Yep. And there's still there's still some uncertainty with your kicking game here. So I think yep. you got to try and put it in the end zone. Put it in the end zone. I I'd still we've we've had a lot of positive plays running off tackle 46 and 47. And right now. That'd be a great play to call again one more time. He's under center. Ooh, he got, got him. Yep, that's your queen. That's your queen. Jump. They went hard count. Uh, and they're going to get queen. Darn it. And he's, yep, they he's had a, him. And he's a receiver. He's just got to watch the ball. Yep. They had Ray. Ray jumped a couple. Yep. Now this changes your whole thought of yep. what you got to do now. Yep. So it's definitely going to have to be a punt. He might take a, he might take a shot to the end zone, but... Well, Rico's in. Yeah. Instead of a fourth and one, now we got fourth and six. Second. Second and six. Second, right, and, six. second and six. But I, I still like go. I mean, if you're going to take a shot, take it on second yep. down. Don't take it on third down. Got a man split out right. 
Romero's tight end to the right. Rico's going to roll right. Out route there. No room to go, and Rico's going to take off. Yep. Smart play. Gets out of bounds. Picks up a few. Yep. That's why I go past. That's designed to give him that option. If it's not open, he's got to tuck it and run. And so that situation, they had great coverage downfield. They didn't allow that short guy to get open. They had coverage on him, so he just had to take and pick up whatever he could. He gets four. So it's going to be third and four now. One twenty-three to go in this first half. Rico under center, Romero tight end to the left. It's the wide side of the field. Turn around, give it to Jelani Thomas. Thomas, 47. Off that left side, gets across the 25. It's going to be about a yard shy. Two yards shy. They mark him down at the 25. So just two there for Thomas' 10th carry of the night. Ball's get, clock's going to be under a minute. The fourth down snap. Romero's going to go up the middle. Romero under center. He goes up the middle. Push the pile. First down is going to be picked up. Picks up with a dive forward. He got about four yards there. Yep. Brush takes her third and final timeout. Brought to you by Premier Farm Credit for over 100 years. They've been providing affordable, reliable, and consistent credit. Visit Premier ACA.com for more. Halftime show brought to you by B&B Appliance coming up here directly. 48 seconds on the clock. Ball spotted at the 23-yard line. Indeed. Student section get into it. Bunch of construction workers down there, apparently. Yep. A high viz. Out of the timeout. I think Romero's going to stay at quarterback. You know, a man split out left. Romero's going to go under center. Fresh set of downs, 48 seconds to go. Brush trying to tie this thing up before half. Romero's going to drop straight back. Looking to his left. He's going to roll left. Man's behind him. He's going to get dropped. Goodness. Very Chapel with the big sack there. Brush out of timeouts. They need to hurry here. They're going to spike it on second down. Stop the clock with 27 seconds. So there's going to be a false start. Gonna be a false start on Brush. That's gonna back him up another five yards. Chapel with just a huge sack there. Yeah, okay. coming off their right side. Romero's rolling left. He's not gonna see him. And that's a responsibility of the offensive line on the backside. They got to make sure they keep their they're protecting. They got to take away that inside inside rush, and they've got to keep their feet moving and hold their man. Twenty-three. Fuck goodness. Clock should stop with twenty. Not eighteen seconds. Should be twenty seconds here. Yep. Yep. Twenty seconds. Come on. Should be third down. Should, are we third or fourth down? Should they just spiked. Fourth. So they they, they had two spikes. So it should well, be fourth down. Well, well, right? they called a false oh, start before right. the first okay. spike. Yeah. yeah. So now it's third down. Yes. Yes. Third down in 22. Forever. Yeah. Third down in forever. Yeah. Ball is now back at the 34-yard uh, line. They're going to go three wide to the right. Rico is going to be in the shotgun here. Romero is going to be the lone man split out left. Low snap. Rico drops straight back. Big, big rush from both ends. Rico had to step up. And unfortunately, there was a rush there, too. He's going to get dropped in the backfield for a sack. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Rico 
hobbled a little bit after that play as well. They're going to go in the locker room, see if he can't get to feeling a little bit better. Score seven to nothing at the end of the first half. We'll take a quick timeout. Come back with a halftime show right here on 1010 KSIR. Welcome back in, Beat Digger fans. Tyler Carmen, Ron Albo with you for the start of the second half. Brush Beat Diggers hosting the Ray Eagles. They're down seven to nothing, but Brush is going to get the ball back to start the second half. Thank you to the halftime show sponsor, BNB Appliance. Ray's going to kick it off south to north with that one score lead. Brush had a chance to make some noise at the end of that first half. They'll look to regain some of that confidence here. Good kickoff. Return man elects to let it bounce in front of him. He picks it up. He goes right. He's got no blockers to the right. Gets dropped just inside the 15-yard line. Picked the ball up at the three-yard, the four-yard line, and returned it to the uh, what, 11-yard line? Right around. Yep. I don't know why he went right. <laughs> there was just nothing but white jerseys over there. So Trey Romero and Eric Rico both going to jog in. Rico will be under center. Rico hobbled just a little bit after taking that sack on the last play of the first half. Seems to be feeling all right. He'll go under center here. Brush has got everybody bunched in tight. They give it to Jelani. He's looking to go off the left side. He's got nothing doing. Jelani Thomas, the ball carrier, brought down by number three, Samuel Meisner. And number 51, Eric Tracy. Maybe a yard. Yep. Picked up. Levi Cox will jog in. Ray just, I mean, they're stacking in the box. They bring a linebacker Rush is off of both sides. They pitch it to the left. Dylan Crom's looking for room. Nothing doing there. Gets dropped in the backfield. Meisner in there very quickly. And it looks like Ray's made some adjustments on the off-tackle play. They've got another, they're overloading that side. They're making sure that linebacker, the defensive end's widening out a little bit more, and that linebacker's doing a great job of filling that gap. Well, that's something else I noticed they're doing. They're, they're taking Chapel, their big D end. He, yep. he plays the wide side every time. And I, I mean, their their other end, he's nothing to scoff at. But Chapel is a yep. is a force. So, if you want to run to the wide side of the field, you gotta. Yeah, and Riggleman's doing a great job too on the mm -hmm. or not Riggleman, but um, let's see. It's, I think uh, it's 66. yeah, it is, yeah, sixty six exactly. Or is it Richards? Chapel and Riggleman. Yeah, sixty six is Brody Richards. Yep. They're gonna go past oh. here. That ball's gonna be picked off at the twenty yard line by the linebacker fifty eight. That's Riggleman. Riggleman was out in coverage somehow. Yeah, that ball, just, ball was just full loaded. And I didn't even get a chance to see. Was that Rico Romero? That was Rico in there. And he had, he was pressured, falling backwards, throwing the ball up in there. And just like that, Brush gives up the ball, turns it over on downs, gives them short yardage inside the 18-yard line for first down and 10 for Ray. This is what happened the past couple Games for Brush, they come out flat to start that second half, and the other team gains a little confidence. Ray's going to go two wide left, one wide right. Miser's going to take the direct snap up the middle. He's got a lot of room to run. He's looking for the end zone. He's got it. Untouched goes number three, Samuel Meisner. And Brush on their first offensive play in the game from 18 yards out, puts it in the end zone to go up. 13 to nothing, 10 14 to go in the third. And that time, Rush's defense, there was a huge hole there on the defensive line. And I mean, when, when he came up, I saw I saw Riggleman look at that and go, hey, we're running right here. And there was nobody to fill the gap at all. And he had lots of running room. Yeah, when you can go at a minimum 10 yards untouched, yep. that's a huge hole. Daily on in for the extra point attempt. High snap, ball down, up, push it right. He did, he pushed it right. PAT's no good. Score stays 13 to nothing in favor of Ray. 10 to 14 to go in the third rush. Just one defensive play there. They'll get the ball back after taking in the second half kickoff. Okay. 
<laughs> well, right now, Brush has got to re- they've got to regroup again. And they've got to just recover after that. That's just a mistake. It's an, it's a turnover. You can't worry about it too much. It stinks that you had to give it up in short yardage right there and give them an easy score. But now they've got to get they've got to come and dig themselves out of a hole now and try to get another drive where they can score some kind of points. Ray's going to kick it back from the south. They got a long time to get their kickoff team set. They lay on the left footer. Rush has got two guys deep in the back there to, to receive the kickoff. Line drive kick. This one should sail in the end zone. Oh, it's going to take a bounce. Oh, he's going to have to pick it up at the one. That is just a tough. That's a uh, tough play. That thing was a line drive. It yeah. would have been hard to catch. I don't blame him at all for thinking that thing flew on a flat plane yeah. and hit at the two yard line and bounced straight up in the air. That's just a really, really, really tough play. That's the second time that's happened to Brush. Yeah, and they are they are inside their own five yard line. Yeah, you're exactly what you said, Tyler. That ball, it just died when it hit the ground. He had nothing else to do other than pick it up and try to pick up any kind of positive yardage. There must be like a little hump in the grass right there where that thing hit. It hit right in front of yep. it because it did. It, it looked like it should have flown in the end zone after hitting the ground, but instead Brush has got tough field position here. I said they're inside their fire. That's a lie. He got out to the nine-yard line. They go up the middle. Romero. Nothing. No, that's not Romero. That's Eric Rico. Eric Romero Rico. was tight end. Rico picks up two. Yeah, I believe Brush is coming out with a, in a double tight situation. They've got they've got uh, two tight ends in there. They've got a wing back, full back, and and the two running back in the backfield. So they're trying to use their power formation. Now Trey comes out, so they're probably going to go. More of a wide problem is when they do that, yep. it sucks Ray's defensive ends in, so you're definitely not running inside. Nope. And they bring two linebackers to come off the edge. There's six linemen there. As they pitch it outside, Middlemas has got room to run. Breaks the tackle, he's going down, brushes sideline. Pick, first down, picked up and more. Give Cassius Middlemas 18 yards on Brush's most explosive offensive play of the game. That was a great call. They came out in a 400 formation, tied into the left-hand side slot and receiver on the right side. Just a quick pitch to middle mist, hoping they can, he can break it, get to the edge. He made positive yardage. Great call. Great play call. Longest rush of the night for Brush by a wide margin. That middle mist will stay in the game next to Thomas in the backfield. Two receivers split out white. That's the short side of the field. They fake the pitch to middle mist again. Give it to Thomas. Thomas. Keeps his legs churning. Gets a good push from middle mist. <laughs> Picks up five yards. You know, that's a, that's a freshman and a sophomore backfield right there. So, mm -hmm. you know, they continue to develop. That's going to be a very tough group of guys there to deal with over the next couple of years. Well, and you should have Richie Bruno back next year. That'll be a really, really nice rotation of runners for Coach Rosenbrock. Rico stays under center. Gives up the middle. Ball popped out. Ball's out. Ray looks like they've got it. I think that was, that was middle, middle missed. missed. That's a tough break for the freshman. Picked up some good yardage and coughs it up at Brush's 40. And Ray will take back over with eight minutes to go up 13 to nothing in the third. Ray goes. Two split out left to the wide side, one to the right. That should be a little false start yeah. there. Collins went way early. <laughs> On the snap. It's a it was a direct snap to Meisner. He picks up nothing there. I'm not seeing things, all right, Colin. He went early. Yeah, he did. 
and the defense held up. They did a great job. Middle missed after fumbling the ball, comes up, makes a great tackle on defense there. Redeems himself and, you know, doesn't give up anything. So Ray goes heavy left. That is the wide side. I feel that's another fall. There you go. They're going to get him finally. Collins went early again. Might be him or it might be this, this outside the, tight end. He, he, he kind of reset a little bit. Yep. But if it, I mean, it, it should be on Collins. That's, he's getting about half a step there on these last two plays. Second and 15 from the 45 of Brush now. Yeah, the defense definitely benefiting from these, you know, these plays that, and, you know, melt, misfires from the offense. So that's good. Four wide, two to either side. Shotgun set. Collins is going to throw a little bubble screen to Tenna. Tenna catches it. Middle miss is going to be there. Middle miss drags him down for just a gain of five. Good job sniffing it out. So he'll you get know, the penalty yards back. He'll be third and ten. You know, middle miss, you know, playing they're doing a very good job on defense. Being a freshman out there playing on the varsity defense, doing a pretty good job. They'll go too wide to either side again. Shotgun set. Meisner's to the right of Collins. He'll fake the handoff. Collins is going to try to take it up the middle. He's going to be wrapped up for a short gain. Pick up of three for Collins, and that'll be fourth down and eight for Ray now. Tuck in on the in on the tackle. Good to hear his name back in the lineup again. Yep. Brings up four down and eight for the Eagles. So Ray's gonna go for it. They're gonna shot. They're gonna three wide right. Ball's about the middle of the field. One wide left. Shotgun set. Gonna go hard count. Collins looking left. Goes slant across the middle. It's caught. First down's picked up. That's number ten for the Ray Eagles. Wyatt Fonte. Yeah. Defensive back. Misplayed that. He went for the ball with both hands. Thought it was going to be overthrown. Fonte caught it in front of him and was able to dive forward for the first down. Pickup of 17 yards. From Collins to Fonte. And Collins just one incomplete pass attempt in the first half. He's two for two to start the second. Direct snap to Miser here on first down. He's going to get... Maybe four yards off the right side. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Brought to you by Stubbs Gas and Oil. One-stop shopping does exist. Gas, food, and all your travel accessories. Get off I-76 at exit 66A in Wiggins to visit them. Ray up 13 to nothing, threatening inside the red zone here. They give Meisner six on that last play. That's his 14th carry of the game. They go heavy set again. Direct Crap. snap to Miser. They hand it off to 19. That's Aaron Tenna. Tried a little misdirection there, right to left. Miser took it right, handed off to Tenna, coming left. Rush sniffed it out. Pick up of only one. That play just killed Brush on that opening drive. They've done a really good job snuffing it out ever since. Got a third and short. Ray goes heavy again. Comes Rush. Blitz. Yep, Rush, Brush walks up some rushes. Meisner breaks free off the right side. First down and more picked up. Well, that time Brush blitzed on the right side. Their defensive right, Ray ran to their offensive right, and there was a wide gap there, Big picked up big yards. Ball's at about the 11-yard line now. Pick up of another six for Meisner in his 15th carry. Under four minutes to go in the third. Direct snap here. Up the middle it goes. Ray punches it in for their third score. 
And I apologize. The ball was not on the 11. It was on the six-yard line. So from six yards out, Ray punches it in. I believe it was Meisner. They went quick. That direct snap again. Ray punches it in for the third time with 3.32 to go in the third. Yeah, and, and right there, Tyler, I mean, once again, just taking advantage of what the defenses give them. There was a big gap on their right side, which is the defensive left side. And when you give get that big head of steam, there's no way you're going to stop that guy. So Ray's going to go for two. They're going to run an option right with Meisner and Collins. Meisner breaks tackles. Did he get in? He was he dead it. to rights in the backfield, and he is able to squeeze around and pick up a couple yards needed. And they get that missed, mixed, missed extra point back to make the score 21 to nothing in favor of Ray. Brush has just got to get a little confidence back here on offense. And I don't, honestly, I don't know how they do that. <laughs> nothing has been great I think usually you kind of look to your to your bread and butter to your yep to Jolani yep but man he's had he's had a tough tough night running the ball yeah that was a uh, 10 play 40 yard drive culminating in a touchdown or a touchdown and a two point conversion making the score 21 zip uh, in the third quarter points off turnovers yep had a fourth down conversion. Brush had him on a short fourth down. Couldn't hold him. Instead, they give up the score. Ray will kick it back to him. Another line drive. It's just a tough ball. That ball lands short. Makes it a little easier for the return man. He picks it up. Picks up some good ground. Gets out past the 25. <clears throat> Ball should be spotted, what, at the 27-yard line? Yeah. Yep. So Rico jog in, as will Levi Cox. <clears throat> Patrick Queen will go split out right. We'll go power left here. Tight end to the left. Cox to the left as well. Rico's going to drop straight back. He's looking right. Going to roll now to his right. Take, kick it up the field. Get across the 30. Good hard block in there. From number 77, Eli Klein. Yeah, he had his hands full with Chapel that time. And he held his own as long as he possibly could. Rico had no place to get the ball downfield, so he had to tuck it away and run, get it, pick whatever he could, pick up. A really good job by Klein, just <laughs> hanging in there. Might give up a little ground, but yeah. <laughs> He's not lying. Nope. Romero will be in at quarterback. Takes the snap, goes straight up the middle. Picks up maybe a yard, right? Maybe. Yep, you're going to give me a yard. His first carry of the second half, 225 <laughs> to go in the third. Middle missed and Cox will jog in. Crowd will jog off. I'd say look for a quick pitch left, this time to middle miss, depending yep. on how they, what they come out in. Yep. Queen will be yep. receiver to the left. That's the wide side of the field. Middle miss is the running back to the left. Jelani Thomas is to the right. Romero under center. They pitch it high pitch there. Middle miss had to go up and get it, but he's got he's got, he's got some speed around down. the left side. First down picked up along the race sideline, and a little bit more. Give him eight yards and a first down across the forty yard line of Brush. A little bit of confidence back there for Middle Miss. Yes. That was a high that was a high pitch. I was a little worried. When I saw it flying through yeah. the air, yeah, that that's definitely you've got it. That's something you got to. Dr they drill in practice all the time. That that pitch has got to be just right for that running back to catch it in mid, you know, mid stride and be able to get something positive out of it. Of 
We don't come out right this time. Two tight ends to the left. Middle miss is still in it, running back. They give it to Jelani up to middle. Jelani Thomas for ball carrier, running line number 55. Pickup of about three for Thomas. And once again, they're getting in a good rhythm, but they're under a minute now in the third quarter. Yeah. So they've just got, you know, they've, the time's running away from when you're running the ball like that. The time just gets, just goes by. And if so, you get down by more than one score, yeah. it's it's tough. Got a man split on either side this time. Romero's under center. Turn around, hand it off to Jelani. They faked it to Krob. Give it to Jelani. Never went down. Forward progress stopped. No gain there. Yeah, and that, that play, the defense had that thing sniffed out right away. They were right there. There was no place for Jelani to run at all. Percy Odell and Eric Rico jog back on. 15 seconds here. Clock's running. Brush should get this off. They break the huddle. Get up to the ball with 10. Three wide right. Romero's out left. Ball snapper. He was going to roll right. Throws it to his man. Krob, Krob had it at the 50 in his hands. It drops, falls incomplete. Would have had the first down. That's the last play of the third yep. quarter. It'll be fourth and seven for Brush when we come back to start the fourth right here on 1010 KSIR, KSIR.com, the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to the fourth quarter. Brought to you by Rudy's Tires. Brush has got the ball to start fourth and seven. They're going to punt it away. Romero gets a high end over end kick. going to bounce at the Ray 30. Roll to the 20, inside the 20. They're going to down it at about the 16, 17 yard line. And Ray will take back over with 11.45 to go in the game. We were just talking run. A turnover on downs, a pick, and a fumble. Yep. Tough to overcome, especially when points are even harder to come by. Yep. And once again, going back to a nine-minute drive at the end of the first, second quarter and coming away with no points at all. You wouldn't feel too bad if it was the start of the fourth and it was 14-7. to seven. Yep. Even 21-7, to seven, you'd have some hope. A three-score in one quarter is tough. Ray fakes it to Meisner on the jet sweep. Collins is going to keep it, tell the ref to get out of the way. Collins is going to pick up the first down. Legs are turning. It's across the 30. Pick up of 15 yards. We have a brush player down. Injury timeout taken. That might be... Is that middle missed? Nope, he's still no. up. Not quite sure who that is. Just trying to figure out on the lineup. Who is out right now? Might be Percy Odell, number 20. Looks like a cramp. Marla's yeah. stretching him out. Timeout brought to you by Van Wyke Insurance. Insurance from over 60 lines to help you find the right one to fit your budget. Stop in to see Van Wyke at 508 West Main in Sterling. Also, you can stay connected with the Eastern Plains Sports Network on all social media platforms. Follow at Eastern Plains Sports Network on Facebook and Instagram and at Eastern Plains SN on X for games we're covering, pictures from ones we're at, and links to our game archives, which are now on Spotify. We also have several regular podcasts on our Spotify page, so even when we're not on the air, we're keeping you engaged as a fan. Give the Eastern Plains Sports Network a like, follow, and subscription on all social media platforms today. Quite sure. Totals up, nice walking it off. Yep. Tenna will be lone man split out left. 
Direct snap here. They give it to Meisner. He's running right to left. He's got room to run off the left side. Middle miss to beat. Gets to the sideline. Turns it up to field. Pick up of about, what, 14 yards on that play. Yeah. Gets, I think, pushed out right at the 50-yard line. So right there, there's 28 or, yeah, 29 yards, 28, 29 yards. 29 yards and run, two run plays. Just like that, they're in midfield. Shorten, shorten the field up. 18th carry for Meisner. And he's been the workhorse today yep. for, for yep. Ray. He's carried it. He's got all three scores. One man split out right. That's the wide side. Direct snap. Collins is going to go down the field. Wobbly pass. Rico's there. Rico picks it off, picks it off. at the 25-yard <laughs> line. He was there. He was in front of 10 of the whole way. Eric Rico coming up big with the brush interception. There was nothing Tenna could do. Rico nope. had perfect. Great coverage. Not a great pass from Collins. Just like that, turned it over with ten and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Brush got the ball back. A little bit of a wounded duck. Yeah. Not a lot of loft on it either. There was nothing Tenna could do there. 10.37 to go. Brush off the, fresh off the turnover. Let's see if they can make something happen. Thomas. And middle missed are in your backfield. Romero runs in. It'll be tight end to the left. Rico under center. Cox comes in motion left to right. They pitch it to the right. Middle miss. Got to hesitate a little bit. Turns out the field. Gets landed. Right about the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage. Nothing there. Yep. For Cassius. Boy, Cassius had a great run, but he was met by mid or not mid cap, but. Um, who, I can't remember who that was right Is there. Is it 55? 55, 55, 55, I think it was. Chapel. Yeah. yeah, Chapel, and he was going nowhere. Yeah, that's a big dude. Yeah, you can't, uh, you're definitely outmanned right there. I mean, Chapel 6'3", I don't know what he, he's got to be 240 probably, at least 240. What does it say up here? There's no, there's no weight on him. Nope, 6'3". Yeah. Well, 59 215. Yeah. I bet he's, he's every bit of yeah. that. Middle missing. Thomas will stay in the game. Cox will come in motion right to left this time. Rico's going to drop straight back. Looking that way. Pass falls incomplete. Intended for Levi Cox. If he sets his feet, Cox is wide open. I don't know if he's just feeling antsy back there. He had plenty of time to, yeah. to stop, set up, and throw that ball. It's a nice play design. But, you know, uh, Ray is also doing a good – they're getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, so he's got to make that throw a lot yep. quicker. Cox and Alex Frank will jog into play. Nine forty-four to go in the fourth. Ray up 21 nothing over Brush. They're creeping up. I think Brush tried What's going in? hard count there. Didn't yeah. get anything doing, and Thomas gets dropped in the backfield. Two Ray Eagles there on top of him as soon as he got the ball. Tried coming off that left side and nothing doing there. Yeah, they sent the blitz and the defensive tackle was right there and there was no – Jelani Thomas ran into a brick wall. Yep. I mean, there's nowhere, nowhere for him to go. So quickly fourth down for Brush after that Eric Rico interception. They can't make anything happen. And they will punt it back to Ray around the nine-minute mark. Romero standing in his own 10. Good snap. High end over end kick's gonna land inside the 50. Bounce back into the field and die at the 41 yard line of Ray, and that's where they and that's where they will take back over. I'd like to know why Ray or yeah, why Ray's throwing the ball. In the first place. Yeah, exactly. I just uh, you think if you want to get the game over with and, and can just run the ball, yeah. control the clock. Yeah. But you know, you get up and you want to try something with a yeah. different quarterback in yeah. there and see what you can do. So yep, fair. You know, makes sense. Fair. And then he threw a pick, and the coach is like, "All right, enough of that. <laughs> enough of that. Run the ball." Yep. <laughs> Meisner, run the ball. Yep. Meisner, Tana, Collins. Yep. Run the ball. Out of the shotgun here. Ray's going power right. Direct snap to Meisner. Handed off to Tenna. Coming right to left. He kicks up the field. Flag, Flag flies in. Tenna's going to take this one to the house. Middlemiss isn't going to catch him. 
unfortunately, it's coming it's back. back. Yep. Flag's laying back at, a, at the line of scrimmage. I believe there was Tanner, Tanner ran out the back of the end zone, turned around, yep. <laughs> ready to celebrate with his teammates, and nearly all of them are still standing back at the 50-yard line. Nobody there. Yep. That is the worst. That is just the worst. Tanner's like, okay, I'm coming to the sideline after that. Come back, and it'll be first down and 20. So a big run, 60-yard run for a touchdown, negated, negated by a holding call. Yep. That is the worst. Not that I feel bad for him, but I feel a little bit bad for him. Eight forty-four to go in the fourth quarter. Stick around after the game for your post-game show brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Rush's got three D tackles. Trying to stuff up the middle. Meister's going to go off the left side. Direct snap. He's going to pick up the penalty yards. And more. And a little bit more. Even about a 14-yard run. He's going to have 20 carries here directly. Edgar Ortiz will get a break. Just kidding. He's got to run back in. <laughs> There's no break. He's got to he's got yeah. to stay in there to try to try to stop anything off tackle there possibly. We're going power left this time. Direct snap to Meisner. Just they picking his way. Yeah, they they faked that end around to Tenna. Meisner tries to kick it back up the field. He's got the first down. Give him six yards. Yep. Twenty carries on the night for number three. Under eight minutes to go. Fresh set of downs inside brush territory at the forty-eight yard line. Tenna comes back in again. They might try that reverse one more time or that up. Yep, he's on same the formation. he's on the right side. That's the short side of the field. If he comes right to left, it's exactly what they do. Tenna kicks it up. Field, stiff arms, first down picked up and a little bit more. Give 10 of 15 yards there, down inside the 35-yard line. Yeah. They, they place it right at the 35. Yeah, success last time, scored a touchdown. You know, take a break, come back to it again and see what you can get out of it, and exactly that's what they did. It's a tough play to stop because you're, you're worried about Meister coming off that side. It's easy for your linebackers to get sucked in that way. And then Tennant's got the size and the speed. He can he can beat you to the sideline or he can kick it upfield like you did there. Ball's at the brush 35. Shotgun set, give it to Meisner. He bounces it off the left side, turns it up the field. First down picked up. Breaking tackles as he gets down to the 15-yard line. 20 yards on that run. Meisner's just gotten better as this four quarters. The second half is going along. Yeah. And a good running back. The more you feed them the ball, the more they yeah. run, the more confidence yeah. they get. Defense starts to get worn down. I mean, they've been running sideline to sideline, tracing those guys all day long. Now first down from the 15. Rush showing blitz. They fake it to Meisner this time. Collins is going to bounce off the left side. He's looking for contact. He's got another first down. Give him 12 yards, it'll be first and goal inside the five. They have been told to stay in bounds. Yeah. Because Collins could have very easily dipped out of bounds. Instead, he put his shoulder into him. Plowed forward for another three. Romero will get a break as he jogs off. Ray's sniffing her fourth score here. They took over this ball with 8.53 to go, and it's 5.37 right now, five and a half minutes. Meisner takes it off the left side. He punches Four. it in for his fourth score of the night. From about five yards out. Yeah. 5.47 to go in the fourth quarter. Ray takes a 27 to nothing lead on Samuel Meisner's fourth rushing touchdown of the night 59 yards on that drive in a hurry yep 
De Leon, one for two thus far. His third attempt. He pushed this one left. Nope. Good. Snuck it in. Extra point was up and good. From De Leon and Ray up 28 to nothing. Just under six minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Fourth quarter brought to you by Rudy's Tires. Nine locations across northeast Colorado and Nebraska. Means there's always a location close by. Rudy's Tires brings you Eastern Plains Sports today, every weekday on 1010 KSRR. Visit rudystires.com for more. Yeah, that time, you know, not a not a whole lot of time. They took up three and a half, three minutes and six seconds to go. But like you said, 59 yards, seven plays, and they even had some penalties in there, and still were over able to overcome that and score. They had the big 60 yarder yeah. negated by holding. Uh, and then I actually that probably benefited them. They were able to knock a lot more time off the clock. Yep, matriculating the ball down the field. <laughs> Last five runs for Meisner, 15, 14, 6, 20, and a five-yard touchdown. Hard to stop that. Start, yeah, exactly, hard to stop that. Leon to kick it back to brush again. Good kick here. This one will travel to the five yard line. Mid a missile catch it. Turn it up to field. Looking for the middle. Finds a hole. Kicks it upfield. Ooh, had some room to run and then just get planted at the 21 yard line. Took the hit and popped right back up. Good tackle there. Well, that was a great tackle. Nice, clean tackle. Yep. He took the hit, but right here he just was able to bounce back up and get back to the huddle again. Falls at the 22. 540 to go in the game. Rush is going to go three wide to the right. That's the wide side. One wide to the left. Rico in at shotgun. He's going to roll right, looking right. Out route caught by Dylan Crob. Pickup of six or so. Six yards indeed. Good little roll pass by Rico that time, rolling to his right, looking for the open receiver. Got out of bounds. Clock stopped. Shotgun set again here. One man split out right. Handed off up the middle to Jelani, and that's been the story all night. Dropped in the backfield. May have lost one. Yeah, trying to run an inside trap, and like we said, Ray has done a great job of closing down the inside trap. They're just not able to get there and move anybody at all. <clears throat> now third and four. Middle miss check back into the lineup. Crowd will get a breather. Percy Odell. Thatcher Queen will be out. Nope. Thatcher Queen will be out to the left. Percy Odell will be in tight on that left side. Rico pitches it to the left side. Middle miss looking for room. Doesn't have a whole lot. Dives forward along that brush sideline. Should be close to a first down. He's going to be close. I think he's going to be about a yard short. Nope, they give it to him. He needed four, and he got right at it. So first down picked up there by middle missed. <clears throat> Just that quick pitch to the left of 59, if you know the brush offense. And uh, was able to string it out enough to get to the sidelines and pick up a first down. We're going to go four wide here. Thomas to the left of Rico in the shotgun. Rico looking straight down the middle. He's going to go deep down the right side. That ball. Was it caught? Nope. Picked off. Picked off by Tenna. 
I believe that pass was intended for Landon Mesh. Landon Mesh. They were both there. Mesh Tenna fought for it as it went to the ground, and Tenna comes away with it. No, I think that was that was intended for. I think it was Caleb Jimenez. Was it? Yeah, it was Caleb Jimenez, the tight end. Four and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Wright takes back over up 28 to nothing. <clears throat> They'll go shotgun set again here. Collins. Tenna. Direct snap to Meisner. Tenna came right to left. They faked the sweep. Meisner goes up the middle for nine and a little more. It'll be fourth and short. Yeah. The misdirection of the Ray offense. I mean, you, they've got guys going in motion inside, outside. I mean, they're just, it's hard. The defense is just having a hard time trying to defend that. If you stop one of them, they're going to give yep. it and make you commit to that one. And, and yep. yeah, it's tough. And there's a lot of similarity between the brush offense and the Ray offense because this offense also was ran. Uh, from the coaches early, you know, when, back in Larry Mills, they, they used to run some of the same type of offense from Ray. So it's not it's not unfamiliar to brush. Rex snap to Miser again. He's going off the left side, picks up the first down, pushed out of bounds. Picks up six yards on that play. Mm -hmm. Clock stopped at 344 to go in the fourth. And that'll that'll push Ray into positive yards into Brush's 46 yard line. They're gonna roll the clock. I think so. Direct snap to Meisner. They hand it off to Tenna this time. On that sweep, Tenna dives forward for a quick four. Romero in on the stop. There's no better time for your first win than homecoming. I think that's what Rush <laughs> has got to start looking forward to here. Yep. It's been the story for Brush. They hang tight in the first half, mm -hmm. and it gets away from them in the second half quickly. And it's just really, really tough to come back. Yeah. Shotgun set again here. Direct snap. Collins went a little early again. They don't call it. Meisner nearly lost the ball there. Got dragged back on his on his right arm where he's carrying that ball. He's able to hold on, dive forward. I think they're going to give him six yards and a first down. Got 25 carries for Samuel Meister yeah. tonight. Turnovers is the name of the game. That's just what it. Yep. It, it came down today. Turnovers. Yep. They had they had chances when they were moving the ball really well, and then a turnover. Turnovers and penalties. Direct snap to number two this time for the Ray Eagles. It's Bryson Lewis, junior running back. Good run on his part. Picks up a five. Bryson Lewis, the ball carrier. Started by number three, Cassius Middle Mist. Number 23, Levi Scott. Middle Mist in on the stop there. Under two minutes to go in the fourth. Ray just trying to milk this clock out. Make sure you see a ground for your post game show brought to you by Advanced Agro Solutions. Shotgun set again here, running back to the right of Collins. It's Meisner, they fake the handoff to him. Collins going upfield, shakes the man, gets up the field. He's looking for the end zone, he's not gonna get there. He gets down to the 15. He was smelling it. Until Levi Cox caught up to him. Give Collins 15 yards and a first down. 
Eight carries on the night for him as well. Ray's going to go to 4 and 0. Brush is going to drop to 0 and 3. Ray's going to go victory formation and kneel it down. Under a minute to go. Post game coming up brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Water is key to your crop success. Advanced Agri Solution has year round and seasonal probes that will help you make sure you have the right amount of water. Call Dusty or Roxy McCormick at 970 571 2024. One more kneel down, and that's going to do it. Clock's going to run out. Handshake lines are going to form. Final score is going to be 28 to nothing. Ray moves to 4 0. Brush drops to 0 and 3 with their homecoming game against Yuma coming up next week. We'll take a quick timeout. Come back with your final stats right here on 1010 KSIR. Welcome in, beat your fans, to your post game show brought to you by Advanced Agra Solutions. Brush drops to 0 and 3 coming off their bye to the Ray Eagles who move to 4 and 0 on the year with a 28 to nothing loss. Running through the player stats real fast before Ron gets to his player of the game brought to you by Better Electric. I got a hint for you. It's probably the guy that rushed 25 <laughs> times for 167 yards, yeah. four touchdowns, and a two-point conversion. That would be Samuel Meisner on the day. He had 50 yards at the half and then broke some big ones there in the second half. As I said, 167 yards on the ground. And he wasn't the only one. That was Brush's problem. Tenna rushed it six times for 73 Collins rushed it eight times for 73 yards as well. Collins, two of four through the air, 22 yards, and a pick. Tenna and Fonte on the receiving end of those. But again, it was the Samuel Meisner show. 170 yards. These those stats are all unofficial as well. He probably had more. On the brush side of things, Trey Romero rushing it six times for 21 yards. Jelani Thomas, after 30 yards in the first half, he is stuffed in that second half. Uh, with just seven yards on the ground. He finishes with 16 carries for 37 yards. Dylan Crobb toted it five times for 11 yards. Eric Rico carried it uh, four times for 12 yards. And then middle miss in that second half, got four carries, turned it into 31 yards, but he had a costly fumble as well. And then Romero uh, over two through the air. Eric Rico, two for six, two interceptions. Uh, had a costly one early and then uh, just kind of a Hail Mary there in the second half. Odell and Crobb had a catch each for 10 and 6 yards, respectively. Once again, post-game show brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Your player of the game brought to you by Better Electric. They cover all electric work from residential to commercial to agricultural. Better does matter. Call 970-521-1030. Better Electric is proud to bring you our game archives available on our social media. We know Meisner's probably raised, but give me a player, Ron, on Brush's side that you thought stood out a little bit, and we'll give you a bright spot heading into homecoming. Next you know, week. I think if I have to look at one, I'd probably have to say Trey Romero. Coming in, playing quarterback, a lot, you know, when he got in there, they put him behind center. He had some quarterback keepers. He did a very good job there, which I think was positive, a good addition to the offense. Got to figure out a way to get him in there more involved mm -hmm. that way. And then if you bring Eric Rico in, you got to figure out a way to, to get the ball to Trey at tight end. And a lot of times it went double tight. Yeah. Let's get the ball to him in his hands. Even if it's got to be a quick, short pass, let's see what he can do with it. But he's definitely a player that I think they need to figure out how to get the ball into his hands a little bit more. Yeah, mid-cap, you know, we talked, or not mid-cap, I'm sorry, we're talking about Meisner. Yeah, four scores right there, 170-some yards. I mean, it's awful hard to uh, deny that, but it's awful hard when you got a guy like that to shut him down. Who Who is, you know, brush, you focus on him, then you got Tenna, then you yep. got the other guy. So they had a three-headed monster today without even their starting quarterback in there. It's going to make it very difficult for teams down the road to, to be able to defend Ray. They're a very versatile team. They're a very physical team. They're a very fast team. So... But what Brush has got to do is they got to figure out how to stop the turnovers. The turnovers is what is killing them. You know, we talk about stop the bleeding. You know, you gotta yeah. you gotta figure out a way to put put a put a bandaid on those and overcome those physical or those mental mistakes that they had. But they gotta hold on to the ball. They can't turn it over. And to a good team like Ray, you're not gonna. It's gonna be awful hard to come out on the positive end. So um, it's what they got to work on. They yeah. got another week. They got another week to fine tune those those mistakes and come out and try to put together a very good game for homecoming week. 
the problems that homecoming poses is so many distractions. So you got to figure out a way to keep your football team focused, but still be able to enjoy the halftime or be able to enjoy the, the homecoming week festivities that are going on. So. I don't think Brush is going to have any time, folks, and I think they're they're tired of being winless already. Yeah. Uh, nobody wants to be owned for. I think they're going to come out really fired up. Because it's homecoming, they're going to want to get that first win. You know Coach wants it real bad, too. I, it's penalties and turnovers. It, it's the little things. All three games for Brush this year, they have hung tough uh, in that first half, had some leads in the first half, and then it feels like right there at halftime, either before or after, they just give that momentum back and they can never recapture it. And that, that's really, really tough. And both teams had the ball an equal amount. They had both had yeah. eight possessions throughout the game. So you really, you know, evenly matched. They got a chance to get the ball, and they had it. Nobody dominated the possessions right there. It's just the turnover parts when Brush had the ball. That just killed them. Postgame show, once again, brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Call Dusty or Rock State, 970-571-2024. Final score from Beat Digger Stadium, 28 to nothing. Brush drops this one to the visiting Ray Eagles. They'll look to rebound next week here against Yuma for homecoming. That'll be a 7 o'clock kickoff. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Brush Speak Digger Football on 1010 KSR, KSR.com, the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Quickly, before we get out of here, they don't pay me to say this. I do it out of the goodness of my heart. Go check out the fall market at Willow Coffee and Tea tomorrow, uh, Saturday morning. I don't know the times. I should know. My wife's there. <laughs> Sorry. For Tyler Carmen, Ron Albo, and uh, Rose doing a great job back at the station, as always. Thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Get home safe.